What up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It's Saturday. I'm riding solo today. Astrid took an impromptu trip to Guatemala to visit her mom on her birthday. I'll talk a little bit more of that in a second. Blah, 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 blah. It's a beautiful day out here in San Diego and I am going to do a little cleaning on this guy right over here. So I won't bore you with that because yeah, who wants to watch some guy vacuum his car? So I took a little trip down to the beach and got this really cool slow-mo footage. Just check this out. You guys enjoyed that it's probably a lot better than the hour and a half I've been spent vacuuming and cleaning out the inside of this car now I'm on to step two of the cleaning process the outside all right so we're here do it your own car wash get your own brush do it all up make it clean Sparkles like the stars in the sky. Well, maybe not like the stars because it's a car, but you get the point. <laughs> Saturday chores are all done. Well, car chores, pretty much my only chore I wanted to do today. So I want to talk a little bit about Astrid going to Guatemala. I mentioned it earlier. She spontaneously decided to get a ticket, show up for her mom's 70th birthday, and I, I think that was awesome. You know, Astrid's never just shown up out of surprise without telling anybody, so uh, it was it was super cool, and everybody was super happy, actually. They started crying, and I think that could be the best present ever. And so that brings me to the topic of today is being spontaneous. I just want to talk a little bit more about it and, and what I think about being spontaneous should be like and why it should be part of your life. To do this, I've kind of rigged up this ghetto-fied camera system here. Okay, so we're gonna do a little craft time. Being spontaneous, I think, has to meet in the middle between being reckless and being conservative. And this, right here in the middle, this, oh, that doesn't work. This is where you want your spontaneous to be. Your spontaneousness <laughs> to be part of reckless and conservative, but right here in the middle where it's not too much one or too much the other. Moving to California was one of the best and scariest things I ever did. And not to go too into detail, but Astrid and I, we came out here on vacation. We loved it so much that we went home. We packed up all of our belongings. We didn't know anybody. We didn't have any jobs out here. And we said, hey, guess what? We're going to drive across from Florida all the way over to California. Everybody asked us, like, why are you doing this? You know, you don't have anybody. You don't know anybody. You don't have jobs. You don't have a house. You don't have anything over in California. Why do you want to do it? And, you know, Astra and I just felt this this thing in our chest that we were like, I don't know, but we just want to be in California. It seems like the place we want to be, the place we want to live, it was scary. It was spontaneous. Facing your fears and just doing it ended up in being one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Traveling again on my top 10 
things that you should definitely be spontaneous about. Last year, we took a spontaneous trip to Bali. It's kind of one of those things, hey, tickets are cheap. I've never been to Bali. You've never been to Let's just go. And man, that trip has totally just made me see a different part of people about life and how it can be. And it's it was just amazing. If you have the ability and you want to go on a trip, don't be scared. Just book it. Do it. Unless you're really going to lose your job and that's going to totally kick you out on the street and you won't have food or money, go for it. Just do it. You won't regret it. I think that the only thing stopping you from being spontaneous and listed as the big reckless is if you can cause death or permanent damage. In the spirit of being spontaneous, I was at the gas station earlier and I thought, hey, you know what? I've never tried this candy. Maybe it will be the best thing that I've ever had. This is called, what is this called? This is called Ola. And what is, what is this kind of liquidy substance that I got going on in this bag? There's I don't, I don't know if you can notice, but there's some sort of balls with liquid in here. And I guess the package says, chili strawberry flavored salted plum. Mmm, sounds good, right? I don't know, we'll give it a try. And then I also bought this. Yes, these are plastic spoons with some sort of substance on them. And they're called cucharita. So... I'm gonna give these a try right now because who knows, maybe they'll be the best things I ever tried. I don't know what it is about the Mexican candies, but they definitely love their chile, and yeah, I don't, I don't get it. This will not cause any permanent damage, at least that I know of, so I'm gonna give it a whirl and let's see what happens. So this is one thing. I guess it's kind of good of these like Mexican candies. They put on an, a, a, a serving vessel already is nice oh, okay it's coming off and there you go that's what's on the inside what is that what is that I don't know but let's give it a whirl mmm yeah you know what this passed the test Ooh, it's got chili in there it's got bite I've never had candy that has got bite at the end of it. Mm. But this is pretty good. If I could describe it, I would say that it's a, um, it's like, um, it's like sweet, spicy, mm, and fruity. I like these. I would probably buy them again. This one, I'm a little bit more hesitant about, oh, you know what? <coughs> Spice got to me right there. A little bit, a little bit more hesitant about Ola, um, just because I've never had candies that are in liquid. But again, first one was a surprise, and I actually really liked it. So let's try this one out. And I, I'm really not sure if you just kind of. This is the total opposite of that awesome serving vessel that I showed you. It comes in a spoon. That, that was great, you know, don't get your hands dirty. It's all good. This is the complete opposite. This is in a bag and you basically rip the bag open and now I don't, I don't really wanna pour it into my mouth because I don't know what it's gonna taste like. So I'm gonna go and just kind of squeeze out one of these little uh, thingies. What, what are these again? Strawberry chili flavored salted plum. Okay, bottoms up. Oh, it's got a seed. Be careful. Very sour. Mm. I'm going to pass on this one. Chili, strawberry flavored salted plum. Thumbs down. Nope. Don't give it to you. Ah. Whew. I need something to rinse my mouth out now. You know what? You know what time it is? Time to enjoy some amazing brew right now, and then get to some editing. So I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Have an awesome one, catch you tomorrow. Jump out of a plane with no parachute, it's a definite, you're gonna die.
If you're going to jump out of a plane with a parachute, the chances that you're going to die, probably a little slim. I mean, it could happen. 